Iris von Everick and her tragic story is one of my highlights from The Witcher 3, which by the way is one of my favorite games. And today I'm going to show you how to look like her, starting off with this face. As always, I'm already wearing foundation. All the products, by the way, are listed in the description box. To set my foundation, I'm going to apply my favorite powder from Moonrise Creek. Next, I'm going to contour my cheekbones and temples. And I will also contour the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow, to make my nose look a bit sharper. To make your eyes look sunken in and sleep deprived, you need to use the same eyeshadow for your eyelids and under your eyes that you use to contour your face. For Iris' look it's all about the eyes and she has beautiful bright green eyes. So I'm going to use the contact lenses Real Khaki from TTDI. I also have a discount code for you guys in the description box. Next, I'm going to color my cheeks and nose tip with a very soft rose blush. I'm going to use the contouring color again, this time to draw on some freckles. The characters in Witcher don't have flawless skin, so you don't have to worry that it looks too messy actually adds to the character. And I'm personally always happy when characters in medieval fantasy stories look more realistic and not like they've just used some covergirl foundation or so. You get what I mean. Next, I'm going to create a heavy smoky eye with the Moonrise Creek eyeshadow in the color Charcoal. I think I could have darkened my eyes even more to make them look more similar to hers. So, you really don't have to save on the black eyeshadow. Next, I'm coloring my upper eyelid and my waterline with a creamy black eyeliner pencil. The most important part here is to blend the eyeliner really well, to give it a beautiful smoky effect. And I definitely have to put on more black eyeshadow to blur the edges of the eyeliner. Of course you need to curl your lashes. And I'm using a black waterproof mascara to darken my upper and lower lashes. Now to my favorite part, drawing on the eyebrows. Iris has very thin and dark brows, and since she's mostly in despair, I'm drawing my brows a bit more decurved, to make my expression look mournful and gloomy. I still want them to look almost natural though, so I'm going to draw some tiny hairs in the front part. Nailed the sad look. For my lips, I'm going to use a coral colored lip pencil to reshape them. To match iris lips, you need to sharpen your cupid's bow and sharpen the sides of your lips to make them look more doll-like.
Next, I'm going to use a creamy black eyeliner pencil on the upper and middle part of my lips. And then my camera died. But after that, you just need to get over the black parts of your lips with the coral lip liner. And then her first look is finished. For her second signature look, you have to create beautiful looking tears and smudged eye makeup. So I'm going to use my black mascara and press it under my eyes. For the tears, I'm just going to use some water to smudge the mascara and to draw some lines. done. Iris' story in Witcher 3 is hauntingly beautiful, yet heavy-hearted, and one of the main reasons why I love this game so much. Thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely day.